Hey, Power Rappers, this is Brian Knight from Pragmatic Works. On August the 12th, we are going to be doing a free three hours of free training on how to build your first Power App portal. Now, there's only two ways of viewing this event. One way is just watch the event like you would normally do. Make sure you register for it down below in the, in the uh, description of this video or the main video. But you can just watch the video, learn how to do Power Apps portals. Great. Or you could walk with me step by step and actually get your hands dirty and build a Power App portal in your own environment. If you want to do the latter, this video is all about how you get prepped for that because on the day of the event, it is not going to be enough time for you to prep for it. There's about 45 minutes of work, not on your part, but just hitting the button and waiting for 45 minutes uh, that has to be done ahead of the event. So this video is going to walk you through how to do all that work. So the first step you want to do is you might want to register for a developer account with Microsoft. This is a free account you can use. And to go there, just go over to uh, PowerApps.com. And once you're at PowerApps.com, go over to Pricing. And almost at the very bottom here, you'll see Explore Power Apps for free. Now, once you click on that, that will open up the developer account. There's two things you want to do here. If you are part of a company, go ahead and click on that link right here. If you are not part of a company, click on the blue link to create a tenant at Microsoft. Uh, let's assume you're part of a company though. Go ahead and click on existing user and what this is going to do is going to create a developer free account inside of your organization. It's not going to go against your company's quota um, as far as their space quota, but it's going to do a few things. I'm going to hit the accept button and it's going to provision a new environment. An environment is a collection of all your apps, your users, your um, flows, your chatbots, all those kind of things. Think of it like a server than the past here. It also, once you go to my own environment here, I'll pick this one right here, for example. Uh, you also, it's also gonna create a Dataverse database for you. So a database where we can store all of our information inside of it. And then lastly, it's going to give you a forever free license of Power Apps, uh, Power Apps to do whatever you want to do inside of your organization. So I'm going to use that license to create my Power App portal. Now, this created my environment. Now, in case you don't see your environment, you'll, you'll be able to click on this, this top right area right here, and you'll see a list of all your company environments that you have access to. Like you'll see uh, your company name inside there, default. Uh, but try to select your name environment. If you don't see that, refresh your browser on the screen, and then you might see that point. Sometimes it, the, the, the creation takes a little bit longer than, than uh, the actual display goes. Uh, once you're there, click on the environment to go inside of that environment. Now, alternatively, if you're an admin, you also could have clicked on the uh, at make.powerapps.com you could have gone to the admin center and you could have created a new environment up here by hitting the new button or having your IT do this and give it some kind of name, uh, make it a trial subscription if you wish or whatever you wish to do there. Okay, trial or production. And then make sure you hit the create a database in your environment. Okay, so, and you would hit basically the save button at the bottom. That would create an environment for you to then play in also. I personally lean towards the developer environment. So the developer environments can give me a lot of power inside of my own little personal playground here. So once you have that done, the next step is to create the portal from blank option here. Give it some kind of name of some sort. I'll call this Brian's event portal. Uh, spaces are allowed, excuse me, force a habit. And then give it an, a URL of some sort. Brian's event portal. And you'll see it has the URL of powerappsportals.com. Specify your language and then hit the create button. Now this is the process right here. Oh, I forgot to hit the create button. I thought I hit the create button. Uh, I had to do it twice for some reason. So this is the process here that might take about 45 minutes to create. Now you're not interactively watching it for 45 minutes. It's going to go off offline and do its thing inside your environment. It's not going to take anything offline, but it will slow your environment down for a little bit while it does this process. When I say it slows your environment down, it slows your, uh, it's installing a whole bunch of solutions right now. That could take a little time to do that. Now you'll see I have Brian's event portal right here. 
you'll know you're done whenever that turns more to a dark blue, saying that it's basically done. And you'll also see a new application down below called Portal Management. You'll also, if I could spell, you get the idea, you'll also get an email uh, letting you know that the portal creation has been done as well. So you'll, you'll get a whole bunch of indicators like that. If that turns dark blue and you get a portal management app, you know you're ready for the event. As you can see, there's a few steps to do ahead of the event. So if you do want to participate and get your hands on and actually build a portal with me, make sure you, I do speak fast, so you can pause me and all that. But if you do want to get your hands on, uh, make sure you do these events ahead of the actual event day on August 12th. Again, to register for the event, you'll see a, a link in the description of this video. And you'll actually see, uh, it will actually send you some information ahead of time on how to prep for it and, and some, some cheat sheets and those kind of things as well. So make sure you register and I hope to see you at the event on August the 12th. Again, it's a free event. It's three hours of training where we're going to build something from the ground up, hopefully with you. So stay tuned and I hope to see you on August 12th. And if you want to get information about future videos, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell as well. Have a great day. Goodbye.